Hello everyone, this is Deepika. How are you? I hope you are doing good. As you know, in quantitative aptitude, it is classified into two sections. One is arithmetic and another is advanced mathematics. So in this advanced mathematics, one topic is called quadratic equation. So today we are dealing about, uh, today we are learning uh, about this quadratic equation. Okay. See, this is the one of the most important topic guys. So if I, if I see the uh, like um, competitive exams like IBPS, ISBI. So this question, this uh, from this topic, minimum three to six questions will be asked. So in the recent exams, if I take minimum three to six questions are asking. So the meaning is, the thing is, as you know, in prelims, quantitative aptitude section is for 35 marks. In this 35 marks, minimum 3 to 6 questions are asked. This all, everyone knows it is a slot wise, right? So in one slot, they may get 3 questions or in one slot, they, in, in one slot, they may get 6 or 5 questions. So because of this reason, what I am saying is, so the, my suggestion is, this is a, one of the important topic and it is very easy to understand and uh, say, uh, as if, uh, see, you might be learn this topic in school levels, but in the school levels, what we used to do? When I observe this equation, you used to start finding the roots by using the factorization method or any formula methods, right? So, the thing is, if you are a beginner, I'll just tell about tell that for factorization concept. Okay. See, the one thing is, what type of questions will be asked in the exam? In the sense, see, like this is the one question, another question will be given. And this equation, this equation is in variable x and this equation is in variable y, right? So after this word, he will ask in the sense, we need to compare the roots. Yes. See, we are not, see, in school level, what is to, what it is to be? Only the equations will be given. So whatever the x values will be there, that roots we wish to find, right? So that is in school level, guys. So in competitive exams, what they are asking us, like variable x is given and variable y is given. So from this equation here we'll get the two roots as well as from this equation in here we'll get the two roots. Once we get the roots, we have to compare these roots. That is a major thing. Okay. Now you just once you just think here, if I do the basic concept that is uh, using the factorization method or formula method, what happens? Isn't it very lengthy? Yes, obviously it is lengthy only. The meaning, the thing is, we have to find the roots. Then we have to. Uh, we have to compare them and which pay, whichever the correct option suitable, right, that we have to mark it. So what happens in the sense, as you know everyone, in prelims it is of one hour, right? So for quantitative aptitude it is only the 20 minutes, depends upon the questions. So what happens, uh, de sorry, depends upon the exams. So what happens in the sense, within a minute we have to solve this. Suppose if you are using the traditional method, what happens, it takes more than one minute. So to apply that time, right? So what we will do is there is a method so that we that is whatever it is a short method is the right that we will uh, apply and we will tell you that okay so if you are a beginner what i suggest is you have to learn the factorization method which is very very important guys until unless you don't know the methods that so we can't go for this direct method okay so if you are a beginner please observe this i'll just explain this question in factorization method okay so suppose if you want, uh, you can apply the formula method, it's no doubt. So factorization method is very, very important. Why I'm saying is, so what are the factorization method concepts are there? I'm using here, right? So using that only within a uh, shortly, we can get the roots here. Okay. So let me start with this equation. Okay. And as you, as I told you in the competitive exams, like these two roots are given, right? So two, two equations are given. So we will find the roots. Then we have to compare. Once we compare, so is it uh, first option will be satisfying or out of this any option will be there. So greater than, less than or it is equal to, less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, whatever it is that we will see. Okay. So let me start, start this equation with a basic concept which is factorization method. So in factorization method, what is the first step? Always remember if you are doing the, if you are a beginner, in case of factorization method, the step one will be check whether the given equation is the standard form of quadratic equation or not. Yes. So this is in the standard form of quadratic equation, which is a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero. Nothing is there, guys. 
simply check the same variables are same and the highest power is there or not if you just check it then it's more than enough right so once we are done with this yes if it is a quadratic equation then we have to solve the further step now what is the further step in case of this second step will be what are the constant term is there right this constant term should be multiplied with the coefficient of x square which is 1 which means 8 into 1 we have to multiply okay so 8 ones are 8 whatever we are getting right once we get this second step that means we have to multiply the constant term with the coefficient of x square once you are done with this so what you have to do is if i multiply i should get back this whatever we are getting here 8 okay next if i add these two numbers whatever the cofactors i'm taking right so if i add this i should get the middle number which is minus 6 along with the signs we have to consider it is very very important okay so once we are done with the second step so what we have to do is see to understand easily what i suggest is write down this as it is which is x square as well as this last constant term you write down along with the signs as it is then minus 6 is there right so minus 6 what i said whatever the cofactors i'll take for the 8 if i multiply i should get 8 if i add it i should get the minus 6 yes now what are the factors of 8 factors of 8 are if you start with 2 table it is 2 4s are 8 as well as 8 1s are 8 you will get okay so if i observe here 2 4s are 8 i am getting as well as if i add 2 and 4 i am getting 6 but i should get here minus 6 right if i want to get the minus 6 what we'll do here i'll just do, take the no numbers as minus 2 as well as minus 4 so minus 2 minus 2 minus 4 will be minus 6 minus 2 into minus 6 will be uh, sorry minus 2 into minus 4 minus minus of uh, minus into minus is plus 2 4 the 8 yes so whatever it is what if i see that factors whatever I have taken if i multiply i'm getting the same as well as if i add this i'm getting this middle constant middle number which is a coefficient of x which is required minus 6 i'm getting right once we are done with this so this minus 6 we have to split in such a way that so i should get back this minus 6 like this right so what i'll take here it is minus 2x and minus 4x so guys once again i'll just repeat here nothing what we have done x square is common plus 8 is common whatever this minus 6 is there right it is splitted in such a way that if i multiply i am getting this 8 as well as if i add it i'll get the middle co coefficient of x which is minus 6 so minus 2x minus 4x right after this what we have to do is take the x common from this 2 and this last 2 okay if i observe the first two variables here so x is common so we'll take the x common so x minus 2 is left okay if i multiply this x again i should get back this original equation right next from this equation i can take minus 4 common and x is as it is to 4 if i multiply 2 i'll get back 8 but signs also important right so minus minus the plus so which is equals to 0 okay which is equals to 0 okay next again if i observe this x minus 2 is common and x minus 4 is equals to 0 further if i simplify x minus 2 is equals to 0 or x minus 4 is equals to 0 from this what i'm getting x is equals to 2 or x is equals to 4 okay one thing we have to observe here so if i am doing this traditional method it is taking more time so we all have to split it and we have to get the roots here so finally we got the roots as x is equals to 2 x is equals to 2 as well as x is equals to 4 okay so now see if you are a beginner please go through this traditional method which is a factorization method okay because this is very very important to understand okay once we are done with this now see in case of exam if you follow this concept like this if you are solving this way now so it will take definitely more time okay as you know we have to we have to solve within a minute 
So what we have to do? Just understand what I am doing is here, right? See, whatever these factors we have taken. See, the concept is same. Concept is same, guys. The first step is same. Just multiply the constant term with the coefficient of x square. Then whatever we are getting to that number, take the factors. In such a way that if I multiply, I should get back the same. As well as if I add, I should get back the minus 6. Am I right? Yes. Now see, instead of doing this all the steps, here itself the answer is there. Okay. Now once we observe here, do you remember minus 2 minus 4 will get the minus 6 as we have written. Okay. Now check. Whatever we have written this way, right? So, this numbers opposite will be our right root, which is minus 2, opposite is 2, minus 4, the signs opposite, guys. Okay, if it is a minus, take plus, if it is a plus, if we take the minus sign. So, minus 2 is 2, minus 4 is 4. Okay, that is only. So, if you follow this only one step, then it is over. So, this is only the direct concept. Okay, if you want to just check for the next equation. Which is the second equation is y square minus 3y plus 2 is equal to 0. Okay. So, if you follow this traditional method, we have to follow these many rules. Okay. These many steps we have to follow. Okay. Just avoid this one. Now, directly we will do it right. Yes. What is the first step? We have to multiply the constant term with the coefficient of y square, which is 2 into 1, which is equal to 2. Yes. The factors of this 2 is 2 and 1 itself, no doubt in this. Now, what I said, if I multiply, I should get back the 2. And if I add, I should get back here minus 3. But if I multiply, I am getting here 2. But if I add 2 plus 1, I am getting 3. What I said, along with the signs, we have to check. So, along with the signs, if I want to check in a sense, if I add here, it is 2 plus 1, 3 I am getting, but I am not getting minus 3, which I require. So, to get the minus 3, so these two numbers should be taken as minus signs, right? Minus 2 and minus 1. Now, check. If I multiply these two numbers, it is 2. And if I add these two numbers, it is how much it is minus 3. Yes, these two, condi three, these two conditions are satisfying. If these two conditions are satisfying, the roots of y is equal to, the roots of y is equal to, Minus opposite, opposite sign is plus. So, minus 2 is 2 as well as minus 1 is 1. So, the roots of y is 2 or 1. Is it clear? I hope it is clear for everyone. Okay. So, now see. Why I am saying is in competitive exams, they are asking to compare the roots. Okay. When they are asked to compare the roots, if I follow the traditional method, it is very lengthy. So, this concept you have to apply. Because what happens in a sense, we have to find the roots and then we have to compare. So, it will take more time. To avoid that time, what we can do is, we can follow this concept. Yes. Once we are done with this concept, now it is time to compare the roots. In the sense, x roots are more, uh, it is greater or it is lesser than y or it is greater than or equals to or it is lesser than or equals to y, whatever it is. We will just start comparing this. Yes. Okay. Once we get this one. Once we get the roots here, okay, let me write the roots here. X roots we are getting as 2 or 4 and Y roots are 2 or 1, okay. 2 or 4 and 2 or 1, yes. Once we got these roots, what you have to do is, see, uh, one easy method I am just going to teach you guys. Uh, in school levels, you, had, you might be learned about the number line, right? So, if I draw a number line, right, what you will do? You will take the 0 here and the 1, 2, that means the positive numbers will be this side and all the negative numbers will be this side. Am I right? It is a number line, right? See, comparison of the roots, I am using here the number line. And whichever it is, uh, uh, x value is more or less, whatever it is, that we will get it here. Okay. With the help of this number line, we will get the, we will compare the roots. Yes. What to do, madam? Yes. Now, nothing is there, guys. So, once you have, once you know about this number line, right, how to draw the number line, it is very easy. It is very simple. Like this, you just draw the line. 
no need of writing all the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Whatever the numbers are given, you just write down 1 by 1 and answer. Okay. So, what are the roots of x? x roots are here 2. Next, what is the root of 4? x here? It is 4. So, this 2 and 4 are the roots of which variable? It is of x variable. Right. Write down x and this is also x. Next, when I observe the y variable root, it is again it is a 2. Which means, see, it is not, my item, we are getting the same roots. Yes, we can get because in the option, we were having the equality sign. So, you may get the equality numbers also, right. So, okay, if y variable, y roots also 2, right. So, write down beside this, which means x and y is having the common root, which is, which is 2. Next, what we are having it is 1. Yes. Next, 1 is, if I observe the number line, where the 1 will be? So, 1 will be here, right? Yes. Write down here. And the 1 root is the variable, uh, see, 1 is the root for which variable? It is y. Yes. Nothing is there, guys. Once we are done with this number line, see, since we are getting the common roots, which is 2, definitely while comparing the roots of x and y, we should get the equality condition that you have to keep it in mind. Okay, then after this what we have to do, whichever the rightmost variable is there, right, that is the greatest one. So, x is the most, rightmost, rightmost variable is there, which is x here. So, because of this reason, x is greater than y, that is all. So, the answer for this equation is x greater than or equals to y. Okay. No need of taking all the, see, no need of taking each and every root and comparing with another variable. So, if we draw the number line, then it is very easy to so, compare the roots. Okay. But one condition. If you are getting only one common variable, then only we have to take it as the rightmost variable is the greatest. What I mean to say is, suppose if I draw that number line, and if I see, suppose if I take this, let me take one example, okay. So, if you are getting x root here and y root here, here and again x root, again if you are getting y root here, okay. Just try to understand, just try to compare these two number lines. In this number line, only one variable, what are the common is there, it is in between, okay. Common is there, you just take it, keep it as it is, okay. We uh, see, we... We do not have to worry about this common roots. Keep it as it is. What we have to check is only one common variable should be one side. Which means if it is x is here, one more x should be here itself. Then only we can find the relation between that x and y variable. But in case of this, but in case of this what happens? Once we are getting x, y, x, y or you may get y, x, y, x. If you are getting like alternate roots, right? then definitely the relation cannot be established. Okay, that one option we were having, if you check here, that option fifth number is there, right? So, relation between x and y cannot be established. So, in that cases, the option fifth will be correct option. Is it clear? So, if I see, so for this equation, what is the right answer we are getting? So, the right answer is option third, which is x is greater than r equals to y. Okay. See, what I want to say is, if you are following the traditional method, it is very lengthy, right? We have to write down this all the step by step. Uh, we have to follow this all, all the steps. Then we will find the roots. Then we have we are comparing. Okay. Please, in case of the exam, avoid this step. Then directly we can compare and we can get the roots. Is it clear? I hope it is clear for everyone. Thank you.